see Predator. Really nice TP. The trouble is, Tim's here with that Fisher will cancel you out and Cuckoo's damage is looking powerful. Botic shield from PPD. Shuts it all down though, remove the sticky napalm charges. Mid. Cuckoo unable to finish it off as mid lane Armel dropped. So the vision might not always be that uh, important, but once you get to your, like you get a, vi a bit of vision here, as you can tell, for the rotations. That's it, because later on you have a much more important uh, vision control when you actually come online with your, with your whole team. Tough oh, way, by the way, Sax is finding the middle yeah. of Sandstorm, which puts the four Wraithing in a pickle. Gabby, they try to get that kill, gets it before he dies, but 3-3 three, three will finish off AU for staying a bit too long. It's finally nighttime. it's time for him to hunt, and the Void will come out to ensure AU does not get that right. Man, I was watching that from start to finish. 3-3 <laughs> three, three comes out of nowhere, suddenly it's nighttime. Wraith King and Oracle thought they had the play. They got the bounty rune under the nose of that Sanking, I believe. Yeah, Gabby did grab one up. So they got that at least, but 3-3 cleaning up beautifully. As I do miss my first kill of the game. Cuckoo gonna drop to the tower though. The bottle charges. Ignore me, I'm wrong. Cuckoo stays alive through it all. Ace is turned around on now by AU and Tims. Man, that Batrider surviving. He even have a salve. He had a salve, he had bottle. Doesn't care about tower hits. Dire jungle to the north. Also opens Roshan for them, for that Lycan especially, with the Medallion help from 3-3. As he silences and he TPs, the Fisher's there though, to cancel it out, and 3-3 stuck. Trapped under the sticky, sticky napalm of Cuckoo, and finished off by Tims, who is closing in. You've got the DK, the Wraith King, the frontliners to push out lanes. Show yourselves on the map and give a target to your opponents. Then you've got these three fog heroes, basically, that come out smoke, like the Bat and the Oracle. They will catch this Lycan now with the damage they've got. They burst through him completely. 3-3 three, three now being chased. Continue on. Fata looking for a reinitiation, though. He wants to continue. Move on to Cuckoo. Saxa there with the Sandstorm and Burrow Strike to control that Bat Rider up. Okay, well, let's see if we can take it. Tim's been left alone, and Tim is going to help from his team. They tell him with a false promise, though. So as the Echo happens to get away from the silence first, not going to die here. Oh, that Miss Quill hurts him a bit, but not enough to kill him off. And he actually heals back up to full HP thanks to that false promise. For now, they continue to fight here as Lycan is joining in. Shapeshift ready. He wants to at least get the kill on the supports. He's going to find AU. AU is the first to fall as they now closing on Armel. This poor Dragonite being harassed by a zoo of units. Armel cannot get away. So it seems he has a Dragon Tail off, but 3 3 still chasing after him. Void ready. Armel just body plucked by Aces units and killed off in the end with one of the stumps. He's not going to give his life for this, though. He actually positions himself properly, but... Oh, wait, maybe he is? I spoke too soon, PPD. There's always a chance to die. There's the last one right after the borrowed time, and they at least want to guarantee this kill. A man will go down, and this might be the reason why NIP decides to leave the Roshan alone for a while. He does have buyback, so if TNC made any rash movement into the pit, for example, he has that fallback plan. There it is. Burrow strike in. Saxa starts it off. He yules up on the DK. He will catch him, but he has a BKB still to fall back on. The back line is being approached, though. Earthshaker gone. Tims is down, so no blink echo. False promise expended by AU on himself, as the reincarnation will bring Gabby back to the land of the living. Saxa's there. Two man Burrow. Beautiful from NIP as they force the execution of TNC. This poor Batrider will have to wander on away from Ace. The Wraith King is trapped between Saxa and Fata, just being ripped limb from limb. He turns to battle, but it will not be enough. Batrider, last man standing. Me, he'll be a bit too late, and they'll lose a tier three in the process. That ball king does not care about the pipe. In goes Cuckoo. Ooh, that that lasso is Fata's not trapped. Oh, maybe yes, because Fata's blocked. That was actually a block. Fata can't get away. Finally, the Fisher gets up. <laughs> And Cuckoo cannot get that lasso in time. Gabby now blinks forward, hoping to catch out Fata. There's no flame break. They will get him. Push him back. Kill off Fata quickly. But no, the episode from behind. Saxa stops the Wraith King, who's going to force a reincarnation here. No, never mind. The Wraith King just killed off with the backlines as they divide the team fight completely so he can't get back. He still has the Radiance. They need to catch him against the first, like to force the BKB. And Nice Talk is just chasing after Cuckoo gets the kill as a Gabby is just golden and unkillable, but they don't care very much about him. Ace is right to take on these racks. He has an economic on level three ready as well. Now off cooldown again, as the Dark Ascension finally ends, but the damage to these racks has already been done. And TNC has little they can do. They can't really fight this. Unable to catch anyone, the damage is missing, and you don't have that lasso, which didn't come out, so. Saxe here, with the vision. 
They're going to catch him. Nice chain stunning from Tim's. Fortune's End is going to be there. The burst strike to get away. His Cuckoo chases forward. Will get a lasso in time, but they've got Peter. Don't go there. They've got a Yule's up and an Aphotic Shield. Armel Dragonite moves on forward with the BKB ready. He puts it out and takes him down. Sam King God. <laughs> and Oracle's going to fly back into this. 3 3. Charges for his BKB. Clears up Cuckoo. Armel's going to be the next one on the table. They've got a Lycan backstabbing the Dragonite. And Armel has nothing left to give. Just has to walk it off. Gabby tries to battle on through. But NIP have five heroes in the vicinity. A reincarnation and a rejoin from Cuckoo as they fight two versus five into this. The Black Echo, finally he's in, but the Yules have immediately no chain stun from the Earthshaker can come through. Ace will finally fall, and 3-3's caught on the tail end. A stun is all they need, but they will not have it. Now we're gonna see a smoke. Okay, TNC, they, they think it's the time to fight now. They finally have all the tools, they're gonna catch Fata, and this time he has no Aegis, so he's gonna go down once, and that's it. Goodbye Fata, 600 gold given the way of Armel, but more importantly, no less drag for 80 seconds, PPT. Might be the second victim of this engagement. However, it's just the support. PPD not as important as losing your Leshrac there. PPT is thanking quite a while though, giving some space to his team to just run away. Just so Ace can make a move like this. Tier 3 drops almost immediately there, forcing the Glyph to BKB pop. The bashes need to come from Gabby, and he's got it. He's got the Abyssal Blade as well. So Ace has been caught. TP cancelled. Pants down, turns with the Hex to try and break through that Oracle's HP pool, but they've got the Disables and the Chain Stuns to bring the Lycan to his knees. Slowly but surely, they'll take down Ace's Lycan. And he's gone for a minute and a half. Hey, Swordfish, he doesn't have a buyback. Middle lane. Oh, Armel Mel has died middle down. lane, though. <laughs> oh, dear me, what's <laughs> happening? Gabby moves forward, the Yule's up, Sand King saved. Saxon needs to borrow out, but they've got the lasso again with AU's chain stuns. The disables there onto the SK, the abyssal blade to seal it all up. Maybe now he'll care. In comes the Night Stalker and finds Tim as pre Fisher. Jumps straight onto that Oracle, though, trying to take out AU. The stuns, they've caught two in the tree line, and Tim's has gone. Cuckoo follows the buybacks of TNC. Need to come out immediately. Armel still has that BKB as Gabby. Zones out, NIP, herds away. TNC need another couple of fights. Oh. Maybe with this move on to the Abaddon, Gabby pressures NIP enough. Lasso back, PPD into the waiting arms of Armel and Gabby now as the Night Stalker charges over the cliff tops, looking for the play and he's gonna get it. Nice little bashes will catch AU out, so Oracle's gone. The move forward, the blinking, Night Stalker catching, killing, Cuckoo's gone. Two heroes with no buyback, and ninjas in pajamas. They've got Tim's in their sights. Easy target. Big stun in from Saxa, and down you go. Our Dragon Knight and Wraith King to defend the base. Dieback heroes on TNC. Abaddon the sacrifice. As Gabby jumps in, they need this pick off. They need to blow up a hero to get the numbers advantage. Saxa's gone, buys back immediately. As Armel has to retreat behind his tier fours, but he is being hounded, bashed, and killed off. Turns with the Satanic to try and recover some of his life. And he's not gonna do it. No way, no way, no way, TNC. Gabby will get Yules up. Bail away from NIP. They don't take down a barracks. You can get jumped at any given moment. And Gabby's just walking up high ground. Wanders into the midst of NIP, trying to battle into the Lashrak. Has the Abyssal Blade there and loses his first life. Immediately reincarnates up. False Promise onto the Earthshaker now. Has the Echo still. They need to heal up Tim's. Fisher's there. He's dragged back as 3-3 three, three falls. TNC holding their high ground. Ace did move in to try and clear up the barracks, but it's being glyphed up and saved. Oh. As the mid lane shoved by Fata. TP in from Cuckoo, looking for the Lesh. NIP bail away, so the catch is in the mid lane still. Saxa Burrows back to safety. Tim's jumping around like a madman. You'll stop into the air with Lotus Hope there. They will be able to turn it back around on the Sand King and find another kill. Saxa gone for two minutes, and TNC, they're running forward, aggressively looking for more plays. They're dropping the Sept in all chat now. And this would make it so that TNC have a superiority in terms of racks. Dragon Knight helping out now with his Dragon Form and the ridiculous amount of attack speed. PPD, the only hero that can face him now. They get the Light Shock in. They manage to stun him out. Armel is tanking this damage perfectly. A nice Burrow Strike in the back lines, though, stopping an initiation from behind. And they separate the course and the supports. But Gabby is the only one taking damage. He still has a reincarnation. They managed to get the last one. Fata, Fata might just die here. Need a bit more damage, but it's gone. And with this 3-3 still hunting out of supports, manages to get the kill on the Earthshaker as it comes back in. Saxa in the backlines are not safe against Armel and, T and Gabby. 
but he does burrow strike himself away. A shapeshift close to ending. They get the bash, which means they can get TP away. Gabby needs some more time so he can get a second reincarnation, but the damage is too good. Gabby will go down even with the Alu or the ghost being alive here. Can't do much with it, and he's not going to reincarnate in time. Roche is dying so quickly. TNC can't oh, get no. here fast enough. Roshan's gonna die. Where is yeah, Tim's? Yeah, they need the Blink Echo right now. Gabby's moving forward. Bath against the Aegis. 3-3 three, is gonna flap his wings, but it's daytime now, and they're going to catch PPD in the pit. Gabby and Armel, they'll herd him away. Fata turns with a nice two-man stun. The Burrow in the back, Sax has caught. That Cuckoo Batrider, and the cores at the front, Gabby's dying very quickly. Armel needs to pop his BKB as well. He's got Satanic to fall back on now, as Gabby's reincarnation will bring him back to the battlefield. But they're turning and running. TNC do not want to fight here. Ow, the Urshik is caught. Doesn't have the Echo, has it now. Blink ready, needs oh, a target lasso. though with the lasso. Night Stalker caught. TNC have turned yet another fight, with Sims finally getting in on them. The Echo Slam will secure a victory. TNC remove two of NIP, no buybacks, but you see the line drawn by 3-3, telling Ace to get into that dire base. Go There's for the, go for the base chance. race, just rush it. Just, okay, yeah, rush it for TNC as well. This might be a base race as Ace tries to do the same, but it's just Ace against the whole team. What can you do, little like? And he's gonna try and put the backdoor protections also his way. The creeps are coming in the top lane, but there's the illusion by Cuckoo. They distract almost all the creeps. A single creep goes away, but they can stop him now as the Ancient is about to fall. They managed to bring it down. The last track, Fata can't do anything, and TNC will concentrate on this throne. Goodbye, NIP. TNC. Let's see versus NIP. Game two, try and set up for that kill at top. AU in the fog with the cold feet into Fisher. They try and connect in with the Mars Spear stun. And it looks like they did just about. Funny interaction there with the Burr Strike over the Fisher as 3-3 loses his life. So we're gonna have it next minute probably. You don't want to fight yet, though. You want to fight once you get that Manta style. That's going to be the CK who's going to be burying the front of your force. Oh, no. Fata again. Stuck in the top with the Ice Blast. They even used the Phantasm to secure this kill. Fata will be tied to the Cold Feet. There he goes. Even with the Echo Sun to stop the counter initiation. Good job there. Tims as he runs away. Gets caught out with a Burrow Strike. They divide the team fight a bit. Tims will go down to the Crystal Maidens. Right clicks. We need Noxil. We need the Dat Dota stats coming out. Mars gets his ulti down onto PPD top. Quick little move in from Armel. Not even needed. It's a solo kill pretty much there from Cuckoo. As Sax as Phoenix looking to defend this top tier one. They go with the LSA and the epicenter. The Supernova's down and Ace is in. The Burrow forward will catch out this out. Armel's oh. about to drop. Finally, they bring the big man down. The Ice Blast in though is good with the Fisher. Can they get the Echo? Can they get in with Tims? They're trying with a Chaos Bolt. They get the Phoenix and Gabby's right clicks are pummeling Sax into the ground. Three heroes down and NIP. They are in full retreat. 3-3 three, three and Ace back through the trees. Tim's isn't done just yet, though. He wants the Sand King, and he's going to find him, hey? The Echo's there. Solo Echo with a Burrow out. He stays in the Sandstorm. Fisher to block him, but no reveal. Finally, a Sentry's dropped, and TNC claim their final kill of the fight. Radiance for Ace as NIP make their base camp down south in that Radiant jungle. PPD getting walked at by Tim's. Earthshaker's there with the Fisher. The follow through from Gabby will arrive now, as well as Armel. They've brought numbers down to bottom. Concoction not gonna be in time to land, and PPD's gonna get caught by the Mars. The arena there with a the spear as well. Echo down onto Ace. But that supernova, it is beautiful with a burrow to follow through and TNC falling apart. NIP had the numbers advantage. They strike back with great vengeance. And TNC bit off a little more than they could chew. Fata doesn't know what's about to hit him. The full freight train of TNC is coming through. Gabby says hello. Choo choo. On with the ice blast. In with the stuns. Down goes Fata. Easy peasy. They're also setting up for any kind of reinitiation or backup plan for NIP. Cuckoo is there ready and waiting for the jump in. And he's actually going to find Ace. The catch onto the Spectre with a supernova in the back looking for that AoE. Zoning out of TNC, but they will connect with a concoction onto Spectre. They need to bring Ace down with another concoction. They're gonna chain stun her into oblivion. Down six feet under, Ace is gonna dagger away. No, she's not gonna survive. Gabby will crit her down and aim for Saxa now. Phoenix trapped in the middle of all the Phantasm illusions and TNC. Oh, Mel, he'll stun himself this time around with a concoction. Ace could steal the kill, because who cares? It's your carry. You need to get him farmed. And oh, get they've got Ace! They've got Ace! Not, no, no Spectre's oh, gone! Not like this. Not like this. 
They yeah, can't even go into the arena of blood. They're completely protected. At least Fada will get away, but who cares? You just lost your main core. And Saxa is idling. Look at the trees. What are you doing, Saxa? Why are you trying to fuck the creeps here? He gets pinned to a tree and decimated by TNC. There's no buyback here on the Spectre, so she's down for 20 more seconds. Look at the play. Drops Armel. Spookily low on the HP front. I've got the cold feet snap onto the Sand King, drag back into the Fisher with the spear, and he's gone. Has buyback now. Will be forced to use it as the Sun Ray comes in on top of TNC and burns down Cuckoo. Global Torn. No level of salt. Man, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Blink Burrow, in we go. Immediate snap reaction from NIP, and they've got the Mars. Laguna Blade's there, but it's not good enough. Cuckoo BKB, but does not escape. Supernova's down, and Fata, oh, Fata! Freezing film PBD cancelled by the Fisher, and in comes Armel, blow up the Maiden. Epicenter are not gonna be good enough. The Echo Slam matches it perfectly, as they have removed the Maiden. Trade back for the Mars, and the Ocean are gone, but this Chaos Knight and Alk, they do not stop. Rampaging forward, looking for the Spectre now, as Armel will catch him with a concoction or not. Aces quicker on the finger, Manta dodges and four stabbed away from danger. Spectre on the high ground, Defense, honestly. Look, that's the perfect. And the Sunray is destroying Gabby, just stream through his health there. Like, would have played that nothing, though. Cuckoo trying to get the kill here on 3 3 first. Armel joins in. There's a hard use, though, to try to catch out the CK in the back lines. And Gabby might just lose his Aegis here. They manage to root him down. They get the Aegis from Gabby, but the Echo Slam ensures A stays there to play with the angry Armel. As Gabby comes back in, it makes nice for Curry with a Phantasm. Fantastic. The TPD got that BKB and pushes everyone away. And Maron lost the epicenter for the first strike. Now catches for Armel. And they get the kill on the Alchemist. And IP is nice to defend this. Cappy, meanwhile, now the next target for these three heroes in NIP. He's been rooted down, tries to get away. Be fast enough, a burst like a stops Kuku as well. A blind stun 350 means to do as Fata comes in with Lester Karay and ensures Gabby will go stay to the graveyard fully. Saxa though will die to the ice blast, but they can still catch Cuckoo. He's in frozen solid. They missed the first like they have a sentry finally to see Cuckoo. It's our TP. Frostbite cancels it. And Father's in for the last kill here. Ensuring that he can make a four-man wipe. Cuckoo will die to the ice strike array. And NIP will defend their towers and they'll get a lot of kills in the process. He goes bot, throws out one spell and immediately TP's mid. Oh, Roshan okay. alive, with refresh the the jump, the Horde is there. In onto Tim's, the Earthshake has been picked off with the AA in the back and in court as well. The Mars ult, he does very little, and the Supernova is good from NIP. Tim's down, PPD will be the trade back, but NIP, they have to retreat now. They can't fight, oh, maybe oh. they can with a two-man LSA. Fata rejoins, perfect time, perfect takedown on the CK. Now NIP do not have to run, they can chase. Alchemist down and out for the count. 100 seconds without him. Roshan opens up for NIP. They start to look towards these buybacks and their timings as well. Out, Lina, Spectre, Phoenix, Sam King of the jump in. 3 3. Tries to catch Tims, but there we go with the enchant totem over the top. Fat has been blown up, and Gabby goes to work. Eon Disc is there for PPD, but the rest of NIP, they are falling short. Supernova focused down and taken out. A Saxa falls, and PPD will follow. Four heroes of NIP. NIP get jumped in like a straight five on five head on head clash. If they meet in a short amount of time and in these choke points, TNC have that ability to blow you out of the water. Like they're trying now onto Ace, but a good amount of dodge gets him away from that CK stun. TNC focusing buildings, ranged barracks, it will finally fall. 53 minutes in, TNC claim a building and they look for the melee now as well. It's risky business though against this supernova. Sunray, Saxa Phoenix, and they're even going to glyph it up as well, defending with Ace on the front lines. TNC prepping for a fight on this high ground. Sam King jumped, the Ice Blast misses. No, maybe not, the Reality Rift, it does, just about kisses him on the side. And 3-3's down for two minutes himself. The jump over the top will get Tim's out of danger. Fata in, the Echo Slam's there. Fata's half HP, blown up with a big crit from Gabby. Now he turns to face the Crystal Maiden. PPD being shredded by this Chaos oh, Knight. Oh but the Supernova's good in towards Gabby, forcing the TP home. He's made it away. TNC evade danger. Again, see if they can. 20th they time, think Lucky. killing the Spectre. This could be dangerous, Ace just standing there. In reality, Rift him, but look at that Sunray eating into their health. They need an Ice Blast, Ice Blast will come out, but does it actually hit? Yes, it does. He has potential damage is coming in, and he can't last too long. The Ice will eventually shatter him. Goodbye, Ace. As 
done. No carry for you for 100 seconds, but he can come back with a buyback. He does have haunt. They need to force that out of him. Have to play aggressively. There's the buyback immediately. And the haunt as well. Cuckoo, he forces the arena, catches the bird. He can't fly away. Cuckoo kills him like a cage bird, but he is. And goes back. Starts to now assault PPD. And PPD cannot even keep the freezing field going for long enough. We got spot that tries to destroy the out. The damage is not good enough. Ace gets stunned out as well. For now, Armel. Surviving this engagement entirely, they destroy Fanta. They are now surrounding Spectre. They manage to spear him into a tree. They push him back as well with a four step. Ace gets away for now. And a nice double power strike. You can continue this fight again. A second ice is coming in. Ace, it's the bane of your existence. You cannot keep healing this, but it got me out of the mana. Buybacks. And it comes out the second time. They need some damage for Ace, but Ace is just getting away for now. However, Ice Blast with Ags is going to last forever. The Everyone's sink, so the tanky! Ice the shattering! It's the Ice Blast that GG. kills him! And the GG is called! Oh it's my TNC god! TNC taking this game number two! Two owing the NIP! 2-0 victory for TNC over NIP!